hello. So this video is to talk about um, my hair kind of going through, I guess, a transition type of phase as far as hair growth um, and to talk about breakage as well. Um, <clears throat> in previous videos I did, I was talking about issues that were going on in my scalp and how it was just really, really itchy and I didn't really know what was causing it to be itchy. But my scalp is doing much better now. I don't really know uh, what changed. Uh, I did start doing the ACV rinses a lot more frequently. And of course that removes buildup, so I'm sure that helps. Um, but other than that, I don't know, you know, what was, what has caused it to be um, better. Um, I'm also working <laughs> on moisturizing my hair more. Um, I was really bad with that, but um, the last two, two or three weeks, I've been moisturizing pretty much um, every day and really focusing on my ends because um, they get dry the quickest. So I've really been working on moisturizing those ends and um, just making sure, you know, I either have you know, some water in it or my leave-in conditioner in it, something, so it won't be crunchy. Um, currently, I have my hair styled in my French roll back here. And then in the front, I have a bang of mini twists. See that? And these are also twists, but I've kind of braided them back and then made a little... I don't know what this would be called, like a little bridge, I guess, going across here. So, and um, I started this style. It takes me a few days to get all the twists done. <laughs> so um, I started it uh, on the first of January, and today's the seventh. So it's been holding up pretty well. Um, I had to go apply for a job today, so I put it up in this bun. Cause I had just been wearing it in a ponytail, but um, wanted to look more professional. So, but anyway, to talk about my <laughs> lack of growth, um, <clears throat> the last time I measured my hair was in July, and I have my little book here, so I can tell you where it was. So it was the end of July that I last measured it. And if I can get to July. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to see where I wrote it. Somewhere. Okay, here it is. All right. So my length in July. Okay, it was actually June. I'm sorry, June. End of June. My length in June was <clears throat> in the front. It was six and a half. The sides were six and a half, the back was seven, and the middle was seven and a half, and that's in inches. So, you know, I figured my hair was growing pretty good. It was growing at a steady rate um, since I big chopped, you know, a year ago. Um, well, from that time, because I, I big chopped July uh, 2007. So, you know, it was growing about half an inch each um, month. So, you know, that's that's what I read was fairly well, and that's kind of how it should be. Um, so, I figured in six months, my hair should be, you know, we should have grown uh, three inches from where it was in June. But I was sad to find out that uh, in the front, my hair is still 6.5 inches. The sides are 7 and 4 sixteenths. So they did grow. The middle is 8 and 9 sixteenths. So it grew. Um, the back is 8 inches. And okay, yeah, so that's it. So my hair hasn't really grown. <laughs> um, it hasn't grown in the front at all. And 
I will be honest and say that I have trimmed. I trimmed in December and I was really in need of a trim. Um, but I didn't trim off so much that I shouldn't have been able to see growth. So I just really feel like my hair isn't growing and I don't know why. Um, I don't know. I mean it should have been about you know, 9 to 10 inches all over by this time. And it's not. It's, it's still between 6 and a half and 8. So, okay, so I'm off by what? 1 or 2 inches. But my hair is growing consistently over time and now it just kind of seems to have stopped. And what I noticed too, like on my, um, this is my left side, and you can't see it now because I have it braided up in here, but my sides look really bad. <laughs> They're like spraggly on the ends and um, there's no curl like, you know, I mean it curls when I wet it, like it's drenched in water, yeah it curls, but you know if I wear it, um, you know, I guess stretched out for a few days and then I put some moisturizer on it. You know, usually my hair would start to wave and curl up, but it hasn't been doing that so much. Um, and I don't know why. Um, there's some damage going on, clearly. Um, I also found that I have a lot of split ends. And I have the split ends that are like... I have the regular split ends where you have, you know, the strand and you can see, you know, a piece of that strand kind of veer in another direction in the split. But I also have split ends that, uh, that you know, you're, you have your strand and there are like little holes in your strand where the hair is, I don't know, it's just breaking off from the whole strand itself. Um, and... I don't know. I don't know what's causing it. It could be the fact that I have not in the past been moisturizing my hair like I should. And, you know, doing a little research on the internet, you know, that's what a lot of people say causes split ends. You're not moisturizing your hair. And to be honest, I wasn't uh, until recently. So that's probably a big reason why that's there. But also, someone had said that I need might need to do a protein treatment. And I don't do protein treatments too often. Honestly, I don't remember the last time I did one. It's probably been a couple of months. Um, but I don't like doing them so much because they make my hair hard. So I kind of avoid doing them. But at the same time, I know I need to do them because um, from this lady, you know, that I had got this information from, she said that the protein you know, makes the strand stronger and it fills in the gaps in the strand. Um, so you won't get those split ends like that. But um, I guess my thing is I just need to follow it up with a really, really good moisturizing, uh, deep conditioning treatment. Uh, so my hair won't be so dry and stiff after I do the protein treatment. So, but yeah, that's just why I wanted to share that that's what's going on with my hair right now. In January 09 um, and hopefully things will get better as I'm doing what I need to do as far as moisturizing doing the protein treatments and things like that um, and I'll definitely be back to share what I did you know how long it took for it to get healthy again um, preferably it'll get you know it'll get healthy because I don't want my hair to be breaking like this and I want it to continue to grow you know it's doing very well and now it's kind of in limbo so we'll see but I'll definitely be back to share with you bye